Hello and welcome to my channel. Recently I was asked by a viewer about how to work with the USB and your scan and cut. So essentially how to take files from Canvas Workspace, import them to your machine and then cut them out. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to quickly review how you import and export files in Canvas Workspace. So come with me over to Canvas Workspace and I'll show you how. As you can see, I already have on my Mac what I want to send over to my machine to cut out. But before I do that, I'm just going to move those over to the side and talk to you briefly about importing a file. Now you have two places on here that you can import. Now that we are looking at the download version, of course, of uh, Canvas Workspace. You can go to SVG, this icon here. And as you see, when you hover over it, it says import from your computer. It does not have to be an SVG file. It just means that it's going to recognize an SVG that has been converted into an FCM or uh, from a file from your working uh, Mac that you've saved as a, an FCM, or it could be any other uh, format that Brother recognizes. So at the present time, I believe it's just SVG, of course your FCM, and certain DXF files, but in future, they may upgrade that. So if it's capable of being imported as an actual cutting file, then you will be able to do that by just clicking on SVG. So for example, here I've got, of course, my uh, hard drive, but then I've got this external uh, drive here, which is my USB. It could be a CD, an external CD that I have as well. Makes no difference. But I could then just click on one of these files and bring it in. So now it is, of course, it is already an FCM file. Now it's ready to export. The other choice you have is to go to File and import it that way. Again, import from your computer or you can import from your machine itself. So on your machine, if you want to bring in uh, files that you've created either there or maybe it's one of the, in, uh, the onboard patterns from your machine, you'd like to bring to Canvas Workspace, you can do that by simply bringing it on your mat and then saving it. Because you can save to your machine or you can save to a USB. You can transfer it by a USB cable or you can send it over the internet back to Canvas Workspace. That's what I've done here. So I'm going to show you for importing from your cutting machine. I have an FCM file in here that I have created on my mat, on my machine, and then simply sent it via the internet to Canvas Workspace. The other way to import something is a scan is by scanning something in your machine and then again saving it. And you can save it again to your machine, to a USB stick, via the USB cable onto your computer, or you can send it via the internet as I have here. So those are your import options. Now when it comes to exporting, let's bring this in here. So this is what we're going to export now. I need to place it up there. What you need to keep in mind is when you are ready to export your work from Canvas Workspace to the machine, everything that you're going to send over to be cut must now be within this red dotted line because that is the actual cutting area. Even though the mat is 12 by 12, the cutting area is slightly smaller. So I will show you how you can tell if you've got everything correct. 
or sending it over. Just go up to File and then click on Export. You can do Control E from your keyboard as well. Now you'll see that there is an error message letting you know that there are objects that are outside of that red dash line. So therefore you cannot have them cut out and so it's not going to even send it to the machine in the first place. You just click on OK and then go and find out what is preventing that. And as you can see here, very clearly, that heart is sitting beyond that red dotted line. So I can bring it in like that. And then I can go to export. And I have all the various methods for exporting and transferring uh, files. Very quickly, as just a little helpful tip, if you come into this situation, okay, we've fixed that one, but let's go back and zoom to the mat, and I have, in this case, we'll put the heart back there again, but I'm also going to have another copy of that. I'm going to just put behind there. Now go to export it. And it won't, as before. So you see, aha, I see what the problem is. I'll bring it in there. I should be good to go. No, there are still some objects that are outside. So if you can't find anything else on your mat, the easiest way to do that is to go up to display and zoom to all objects on the mat. So that includes not just here, but in this gray area as well. So you can bring your heart in now, and you should be able to export it. And you are. So again, here are your choices. You have the ability to export your FCM file to a folder that's on your on your PC or your laptop or your tablet, or you can export it to your um, USB stick. Now in that case, you would just find on here where your external drive is and it's there. So that's my USB. I would give it a name and I'll just call it hearts and it will save it for me and then I can take my USB stick uh, after having safely removed it from my PC and put my USB into the side of the machine where the USB port is. The other options of course are to send it via the internet. So if you have a wireless machine, then you can transfer your files directly from your device to the machine. Just clicking here and you'll see that it's been transferred to the machine that is registered with your account. Very simple. And then you will retrieve it at the other end from your machine. Another option is if you don't have a, a USB stick uh, and you don't have a wireless machine, let's say you have, but you do have a USB cable, much like you would have if you have a printer that is not a wireless printer, and you run a USB cable with your USB um, plug on one end, which goes into your device, and to the machine itself and it's the little sort of rectangle uh, opening it has a little bit of a u shape inside of that cable and you plug that in in which case you would do that you would export it and transfer it via the cable but of course i can't at this moment because uh, i do not have uh, that connected to my uh, computer and as it does say here, it's only available for the SDX 
for, for the DX machine, uh, if you have the newer uh, or older versions of the scanner cut, like a CM series, you won't have that cap that uh, uh, capability. But this is available on your DX machines, of course. So those are your options there. Once you take your files and send them to your machine, then when you go and log in on your machine, you'll see the various options. You'll see the icon for retrieving data, and you can retrieve from the machine itself, from a USB stick, from the cloud, or the internet, and of course from the cable. And I'll insert a picture in here of what those look like for you, as well as the ports for the uh, the cables, for the for the cable and for the USB stick. So you're going to have to physically take your device with you, your computer or your lap or your laptop, uh, your tablet with you to the machine. So they'll have to be able to be uh, essentially hardwired together if you want to use a USB cable. And just quickly, for those of you who use the online version of Canvas Workspace or prefer to use that instead, I'll just show you very quickly, if I take you over to that, you have the various options for importing uh, files. You've got My Projects, which are those which you've already saved into the cloud, in which case you could just click on those and bring that up. Or the other way to bring in files that are not in the cloud would be to go to the import SVG DXF and FCM files logo. And that way you will be able to import files as long as they come within these parameters here that you see on the screen. So you would just choose your file. In this case, I could choose again from my USB stick file that I created before. And that is what I could then now cut out. Now, in order to send it to the machine, use the download button here. And you'll see again all the various options that you have. So you can download to your PC. And this includes both the USB stick and the USB cable, as well as your hard drive. And you can transfer, of course, via the internet. And if you just come down here, you can see how to transfer the SEM file to your cutting machine. Click on that, You've forgotten how to do this, and you'll see various ways to transfer your files to your cutting machine. And you'll find all that over on the support page. I hope I was able to answer my viewer's query about the USB, uh, not only the USB stick, but the USB cable and how to transfer files from Canvas Workspace into the machine and vice versa. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you found this useful. And if you have any queries, uh, please leave me a comment. If you want to know about perhaps a specific uh, function of Canvas Workspace or the machine itself, I will do my best uh, to accommodate that. And if I can't uh, come up with uh, an answer or solution for you, then perhaps I can find uh, another source. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so today. 
I'll be back, hopefully, very soon with more video tutorials and I hope you'll join me. In the meantime, please stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.